Hey everyone, it's Rebecca here with Team Ladybug and I've got a blue nail design that I've taken and we're gonna put it on the extra short almond tips that came in March's beetle box. So in the beetle box, we've got soft gel tips in extra short almond. We've also got the glazed donut alcohol ink, which is really pretty. A red carpet restore repair rubber base gel and also the sugar drop stones that we'll be using on these nails as well. The last item that's in the box was Bare Soak Silky Butter Lotion for Hands and Feet by New Revolution. Let's start off with some of the things that we'll be using. I've got a Bach buffer, some crystal glue, nine millimeter brush, ombre brush, petal brush, alcohol ink brush, crystal picker, and a set of tweezers. We'll also be using Ladybug Luster Wet Look Top Coat, Blooming Gel, No Buff Primer, Metallic Glaze, and Alabaster Luxe Ladybug Sparklers. This is really pretty. Juliet Gilded Glitz Gold Leafing. We've also got Caviar Beads. All right, for the gel polishes, 27 Angel Food Cake, 38 Shake Your Bonbons, 58 Milky Way, 103 cuppy cuppy cake and those are all from the spring collection let's talk for a second about the soft gel tips the extra short almond these tips are a new formulation for us there's 25 percent more gel than our previous tips so we're really happy to have them all right when sizing these you want to make sure that for the finger, they fit sidewall to sidewall, so you might have to figure out which one goes on which finger. This one has like one sidewall and then the other not so much, but I'm just doing it for demonstration purposes. And make sure that you're going down a little bit because you don't want it to go all the way back to the base of the nail plate near the proximal fold. So take off your tip and then you're gonna wanna get a nail file and just buff off that little pointy tip so that's not sticking out or sharp. And then we need to do some work here. So we're going to slightly buff and thin out the edges where it's gonna be on the side walls of the fingernail and definitely thin out the back end because we're going to make this flush with the nail. We need it to be thinner instead of having a bump or a ridge at the end, which will show greatly when it grows out. You don't want that. So just keep buffing um, until you're happy with the result. It needs to be thin enough to be a little bit bendy, but not so thin that you've actually gone through the whole nail. So once you're ready, you're gonna put no buff on the inside of the nail. So flip that over and apply your no buff um, just on the part that's gonna be attached to the nail so you don't have to go all the way down to the tip. We want this to be extra sticky. Then we're gonna take the Restore Repair and we're gonna add just a little bit on the inside edge. And then you're gonna take your nail and you're going to floop it down and press until you actually get to the edge of the normal fingernail. Your nails should be short when you apply these and you just wanna get it all the way to that edge. Once you have it in the right spot, just go ahead and flash cure each finger individually. Making sure that you check before you flash cure that you don't have any excess gel on there. Take it off with a squeegee tool or, I mean, a silicone tool or a brush. And just make sure you're, you have the right amount of pressure so there's no air bubbles. Flash cure each finger. Then once you've done each finger flashed, you can fully cure the whole thing. Once those are cured, you're gonna get pure acetone, put it on one of your cleanup brushes, and you're going to blend that out the edge into the natural nail so it's flush. Okay, after that, you're gonna grab the No Buff Primer and you'll just put that on the tip so it's sticky. I went ahead and chose six tips for this set. That would be basically maybe sizes that might be on a nail um, that you would use on a regular person so you can see actually what the nail art would be shrunk down for marble nails. Okay, so this is the design that I originally did and I did it on all the same size tips just so you could see the design. 
All right, so let's start out with some aqua alcohol ink. And then I'm also going to use the four colors that I chose before. They have tester labels on them because in-house we're going to have these out. So when you come in for a class or whatever, you can open them and look at them and see what they're like. So there's angel food cake. There's shake your bonbons, which is really pretty. Um, Milky Way is a darker blue, not dark blue, but darker blue. And then the last one that we're using is Cuppy Cuppy Cake, and that one is like a pale sagey green. So for the tips, if you're just doing press on nails, you're gonna wanna put the No Buff Primer, then the Restore Repair Rubber Base, we're gonna use that to strengthen those tips. And just cure that. Then we'll take some of the Shake Your Bonbons and some of the Cuppy Cuppy Cake. We're gonna do the ombre, so you'll need the ombre brush. And all I'm doing is putting the blue at the top and the green at the bottom. And using the ombre brush, we're gonna blend this out. So you can tap, 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 do the whole tap thing like I'm doing. These blend really, really well. They're very smooth. Um, if you do it long enough, like if you do take your time and do this, which I'm not doing, I'm doing it really quickly just to show you how well they blend together. You could probably get it done in one coat, but I suggest going over it a second time and doing two coats. Oh, there's a little fuzzy in there. You can take that ombre brush and just pull those out, which is really nice. So I'm just going to go ahead and add, after curing, a second layer of this just to have a little bit more solid color and a little bit more depth. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the ombre brush again and just blend these two out. But like I said, you just tap, tap, tap. These blend so smoothly and so clean that... That's really all you have to do um, to get them done. If you want to blend the other way, you can take the brush and turn it sideways on the nail and blend that way as well. But you need to go a little bit farther up and down if you're going to do that. And these honestly don't need it. Just make sure you turn the nail upside down or right side up. Then we're just going to top with the Ladybug Luster Wet Look Top Gel. And that is one nail down. Moving on to the next nail, we've added the primer and now we're just adding the Restore Repair and we're gonna cure that. Now we're going to take the whole nail and cover it with Milky Way number 58 in the new spring collection. And this coats in one coat. You really don't need two coats um, unless you apply it super, super thin. Then you can do two coats, but here I'm just gonna apply one coat and then I'm gonna cure that. The next step is to add Velvet Touch Matte Top Gel. So we're just going to apply a pretty thin layer of that and then we will cure it. We'll need the Glazed Donut Alcohol Ink and Aqua Color Cocktail for this. So make sure you shake up the Glazed Donut. This is an ink that needs to be shaken. And I'm just going to wipe off with alcohol the nail. And then we'll use the aqua first. So I'm just going to put this in like a Y kind of pattern on the nail. And it looks like I'm applying dark blue, but it's actually the aqua. And it's because we have the blue background. So we're going to let that dry. And then we'll use alcohol ink brush with pure acetone. And we'll just blend that out a tiny bit uh, to fade in here. We still are you know, keeping the blue, but we're gonna add some vein lines and we'll also be changing the color of the nail because the blue on blue, tone on tone, really um, just gives some depth to that blue Milky Way. It's really, really pretty. I like the tone on tone. Now we're gonna add metallic glaze. Apply a super, super thin layer because you don't want to add thickness. You're just doing this to protect the alcohol ink that you put on. For the glazed donut alcohol ink, you're going to want to use Ladybug Luster Wet Look Top Gel. Apply a pretty thin layer and cure for 10 to 30 seconds depending on your lamp. Then go ahead and shake up your glazed donut alcohol ink and apply. I'm just going to put this in kind of a sideways V shape. 
um, and then I'm going to blend it out. So get your acetone. This is another one that you use pure acetone with and just blend it. You can either blend it so it's really loose and glittery or you can blend it so that it has vein lines. Uh, it's totally up to you just depending on how much acetone you have on the brush but I'm going to show you the difference here if I use a lot of acetone versus using a tiny bit of acetone on my brush and I would just take the brush fill it with acetone and then tap off half the brush of acetone or I would leave the full amount of acetone in the brush and you need to experiment see what works best for you and how you want the veining to look or if you just want it to be a soft muted look you can do that as well however you think it looks best so after that's dry we'll take a layer of metallic glaze and apply a thin thin layer of that and cure it then i'm going to take ladybug luster wet look top gel apply a thin layer of that and cure that and then that's nail number two down okay so take your no buff and apply that and then also take your restore repair and apply that in a thin layer and then you can cure now i'm just going to need a little bit of the shake your bonbons and cuppy cuppy cake and i'm going to apply those to my palette i think i grabbed a little bit more here than i'm going to need but if you were doing multiple nails that would probably be the right amount and I'm gonna get blooming gel and my nine millimeter brush. I'm just gonna apply a pretty thin layer of the blooming gel on here. We've already got the Restore Repair Rubber Base, so we don't want it too thick uh, or the nail is gonna be just a big blob. So apply a thin layer of that and then go ahead and grab a line with your nine millimeter of the Cuppy Cuppy Cape and just draw little squiggles. We're gonna do like a faux sort of liquid marble i'm i'm not even sure if this is like a uh, thing but this is if you don't want to try to marble it or if you don't really know what you're doing you can just go ahead and add stripes and lines and manipulate it because the blooming gel is going to do most of the work for you so i'm just making swiggles here and there i have an idea in my mind i kind of want to keep the center blank so i'm just pulling down pulling the colors together and it'll look pretty when I'm done you have to trust the process on this one because it looks like a hot mess some uh, at one point but then I'm going to take the petal brush and I'm going to pull the colors together and just blend it the way I want and the blooming gel is helping me here again making it softer than what it is but I want to try to keep it um, thinned out on the edges so I'm taking my petal brush and just tapping those in bringing the colors to the center more and I also need to get the top part a little bit cleaner so I'm going to pull some of the color out with the brush out and down and give it some blank spaces in there um, I'm really just playing around here until I have sort of the v-shape design that I want and again you know have fun with this it's it's not anything that serious it's just marble so I'm happy with that I'm gonna cure it now we're gonna get the Juliet gilded glitz gold leafing and I find working with tweezers with this uh, is the easiest because you can grab just a little I mean you can try to get it with your brush but tweezers you can actually pick it apart and I want I don't want like solid big pieces. I want to be able to break this down and the tweezers really help with that. So I'm just going to apply it and then I'm going to use the tweezers to sort of peck at it and pick it apart a little bit if you see what I'm doing here uh, because I want really small pieces. I don't want just big ones. I want it to be broken up and look actually like a marble nail. So that's pretty good. Maybe add a couple more pieces here. And once I'm happy with that, I'm going to go ahead and take Ladybug Luster Wet Look Top Gel and I'm just going to coat it in a thin layer on here. So let's put that on. And then we're only going to cure for 10 to 30 seconds because we're going to add the glazed donut alcohol ink. And this is where it's really going to come to life and you're going to see it pop because I'm using this uh, to cover more of the nail than not 
and I'm just gonna um, add it where I think it needs it and then I'm gonna blend it out with the alcohol ink brush and 100% pure acetone and it's gonna make this look like you spent hours on it when in reality this was probably one of the quickest nails you did so go ahead and push the alcohol ink around the way you want I'm still keeping that V kind of pattern I really like that when I do clear nails so we're just going to put acetone on the brush tap off half of the acetone and then move it around in a tapping motion if you can see I'm lightly tapping this and depending on how much acetone is in my brush is how much this ink moves around so just keep moving it around until you're happy with it and then once you're happy with what you've got you can let it dry and then we're going to use the red carpet metallic glaze to cover this because we've got the donut glaze alcohol ink all over the whole nail we need to seal this in so it will stick to the top coat and then after that's cured you'll apply a thin layer of ladybug luster wet look top gel and cure that let's talk for a minute about using velvet touch matte top gel on the nail and then using the donut glaze and it gives you a muted look and then if you use the ladybug luster wet look top gel and then use the donut glaze it gives you a much deeper look a little bit more dimension and solid so it's up to you which look you want to go for i just wanted to show you the difference between using the matte top gel and the wet look top gel if you're using these nails as press-ons and you're at the restore repair stage make sure that if you get any gel underneath the tip that you wipe that off uh, don't use your finger like i just did but take a little cloth and wipe it off so it's good on the bottom and then for this nail we're going to use milky way which is number 58 and we're just going to apply that all over the nail and you've seen me do this part before so i'm just going to jump to the part where it's fully cured okay now we're going to take velvet touch matte top gel and we're going to apply that to the whole nail and cure it then we'll take alcohol and wipe off that layer I'm using Gaudi Nails LED Super Glue. I've got a nine millimeter brush and I've got this little jar of sugar drops. Oh, don't forget the crystal picker. So I'm just gonna dump some of those in the lid so I can have a good selection. And I have caviar beads as well, which I just spilled all over the place, so that's great. Okay, so first get your glue and put it a dot in the center so you know exactly where you're starting from and add your biggest sugar drop to the center. And once you have that where you want it, you're gonna cure. You can flash here. Okay, then I'm gonna take the glue again, and I want to have like sort of a swoop from one edge of the nail to the other. So I'm putting a, a little bit thicker close to the large crystal I've already cured on, and then I'm gonna pull it out to a little bit thinner on the edges. And I'm just gonna go through using the crystal picker and pick out whatever sugar drops I want for this. Um, we call them sugar drops because that goes with the eye candy collection and you have this exclusive little cute little drops that are, some of them are matte and some of them are sort of textured looking and some of them are just glossy. I really love these little drops and just put them in a pattern with like the bigger ones in the center area and then smaller ones towards the edge once you have them the way you want them you can go ahead and add caviar beads uh, as many or as few as you want you might have to add some glue here and there to make it stick but go ahead and add I'm trying to pick all of the same color I uh, want these all in gold, but you can go with gold or silver or whatever color you have for those. And just add your beads um, so that it fills out your flowy pattern. And I want one not at every single juncture uh, or where the crystals meet together, but I want most of them to have a little drop in the edge so it looks more finished and more complete if you just have crystals 
that's fine but I always like the caviar beads because I think they add a little bit extra to it so once you're happy with how many caviar beads you have and how many crystals you have you can go ahead and cure it and I'm just going to mess around with this a little bit until I'm happy with the result and then I'll cure if you find any shiny areas, you can use the Velvet Touch Matte Top Gel and just either touch it up with the 9mm brush or you can go over the whole nail just depending on how thick you have it. And I would still only do a pretty thin coat at this point. It just depends on how much glue you got and how much shiny is showing because I want this nail to be matte. So go ahead and do that and then cure and that is another nail down. For the next two nails, don't forget to do the no buff and the restore repair. You're just going to add a thin layer of this for strengthening the soft gel tips and then you'll cure that. Alright, I've got the two nail tips prepped and I'm going to use number 38, Shake Your Bonbons. I'm just going to apply a single layer to these and um, you know how to apply gel polish, I hope so. Once you've applied your single coat to both and you've cured them, well, I'll meet you back here. Okay, for this part, we need Angel Food Cake and Milky Way. So I'm just gonna take Angel Food Cake and do a few stripes on my palette. Um, pretty thin of the gel polish, doesn't have to be super thick. So I'm just gonna do three layers, actually make it four. Um, and then I'm going to take the Milky Way once I've got that done and I'm just going to put it in between the layers of the angel food cake. So it's white, blue, white, blue, white, blue, white with white on both of the outsides. Then I'm going to get my two nails that are ready and I'm going to put blooming gel on them. I'm going to apply the blooming gel to both nails. If you're pretty quick about this process, you can do both at the same time. If you're just starting out, I would only do one at a time. So make sure you have a nice thin layer and then we'll move on to the next step. You'll need your ombre brush and then we're going to take from the palette, we're going to scoop up as much of the gel as we possibly can and then we're just going to place it down on the nail and you can twist to get more of the color and bring it through and then I'm just going to add a little bit at the top um, this is sort of a Y pattern here. Get a little bit on the edge and then I'm going to clean off my brush. Alright, so once that's cleaned off, I can take the brush and just move the gel around a little bit. There's just blooming gel here and maybe a little bit of the color I'm picking up, but I just want to add a little bit of flow and movement to this. So I'm going to work the colors the way I want and pull down a little bit of the darker blue and just again give it some movement. But I'm going to use also my petal brush here and I just want to take out a little bit of the color because again I want that little V shape thing so it sort of goes with the other nail. I want to have a little spot at the top and that'll give some continuity between the nails. They don't have to be exact obviously but I, I do want the same sort of pattern on these so that you know that they go together. The other thing you can do with the petal brush is get the excess gel off the sides if it's too thick down there. You can use a rubber glove and pull it off or use the petal brush and pull some off then cure. Okay, so I'm just going to retouch up the blooming gel here because while I was doing that, it did drip a little, so maybe only do one nail at a time. And now I'm pulling less of the gel off of my little stripes. Um, I just want to show you the difference in using a lot of gel and a little. I mean, it's all relative. It, it all depends on how you work best. I can do either one so it doesn't really matter to me if I do one or the other because I'm still going to manipulate it into the same look that I want and again I'm using sort of a V shape pattern or Y shape um, depending on how you look at it and I'm adding a little bit of white into this one um, just for a little bit of difference and then I'm going to basically pull down some of the color and 
I don't know. Let's see what works here. Yep. And add a little bit there. I don't know if I like those stripes that much. So I'm going to bring in the petal brush and pull some of that out and then pull a little bit off the side as well. And just work it until you're happy with it, until you're happy with the way it's flowing. And again, you can take color off the side. You can add color or take color off. Uh, I wouldn't spend like too much time doing too many things because the blooming gel helps you with most of this. But um, just make it how you want. And then when you're happy with the design, you can cure it. Okay, for this next part, I'm going to take a little bit of the Restore Repair and I'm going to apply a super, super thin coat um, of the rubber base. This is going to help even out any of the, you know, dips if your nail is not smooth. And it's also so I can apply the alabaster glitter. I'm just taking my nine millimeter brush and I'm applying a little bit of this. It's a sheer glitter so you can see through it uh, transparent translucent and um, so I just want to put that in a couple of spots on these nails just to give a little bit of extra glimmer and you know so it looks more like a marbly kind of surface you can either put this on top like I've done here or you can apply these glitters before you even put on the Milky Way and Angel Food Cake. It's totally up to you. I've done it both ways and it looks good. Do the same for the other nail. Apply the glitter as you see fit. I've added it in two spots on this particular one. And then once that's done, I'm going to cure. Okay, so they're cured, and we're going to come back with the Juliet Gilded Glitz Gold Leafing. Again, we're going to use tweezers on this, and I'm just going to pick it out of the um, cap because it's easier to get the tiny pieces. And I'm just going to lay this around and break it up as I see fit. So I don't want to overdo it because these are pretty small nails, and I think the broken up look looks really cute when it's small like this. You can see the glitter in there and then uh, don't cover the whole glitter up. I mean, you can cover a little bit of it up, but don't cover the whole thing up and just add a few pieces here and there. Um, again, don't overdo it. Uh, less is more in the case of this gold leafing. So once you've got it the way you want it and you're happy with it, then just press that in. Um, you can use a f your finger or a silicone tool and then we'll go to the next step. Now, I'm going to take Cuppy Cuppy Cake and put a little bit of that on my palette. I'm going to take my 9mm brush and I'm just going to draw some lines here for um, marbling. I know it seems weird to use a gel polish for this, but I just wanted to use the least amount of products that I could without adding something else in and it was blurry so I gave you a still shot there of actually what I did. Now I'm taking my petal brush and I'm just going to pull it out. Um, I just want to make it smaller lines. I don't want it, you know, it'll bleed a little bit being gel polish, but you can still get a pretty decent look um, dry brushing the gel polish off and you know, fix it where you can, but we're doing really, really tiny lines. I'm adding a little bit more on my brush here because I wiped off too much. Go ahead and continue to adjust the lines. And then I'm doing the second nail here and I wiped off a little bit too much. So again, I'm adding some color back in and just making it wavy not a perfectly smooth straight line but here i finally got it in focus and you can see exactly what i'm doing blending it out and just um working it until i'm happy with it then once that's done we're going to take both of those nails and cure them at this point, you're going to want to add Ladybug Luster Wet Look Top Gel. Apply that to both of those nails, and then you will cure for 10 to 30 seconds, depending on your lamp, because we're going to use the Donut Glaze Alcohol ink over it, and we still want to put a top gel on top. Make sure you give this a good shake, 
and then we're going to use the glazed donut alcohol ink. So you can apply it in a wavy outside edge pattern. This is sort of like using it the way Tracy uses the wedding veil, but I am just going to coat the edges on here and see how it looks um, using it in that wedding veil kind of pattern. And leaving the center blank. So let's do that with the first one. And then on the second nail, we can apply it in the same sort of thing um, on the edges, but we're going to apply a lot more. So I'm just going to keep adding a little bit more here and there. I'm not doing the wedding veil kind of look, but I'm going to cover the same sorts of areas and just do the sides and then maybe a diagonal. So I don't know, like a weird shaped eye. I'm always trying to find shapes and things. I don't know to explain. Anyway, I'm adding a lot more ink to that one. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it upside down because I want it to not pool at the edges. Okay, so once those are dry and that one looks pretty dry to me, I don't think I'm gonna do anything else to this. I think I'm gonna leave it just the way it is and I'm gonna put metallic glaze over the top of it. I'm gonna leave that sort of wedding veil look like Tracy uses with the white. So that's one way that you can use this or another way that you can use this. So we'll do the metallic glaze and then once that's done, we will cure it and add the top coat. With this second nail, we are gonna take our alcohol ink brush and add pure acetone. I'm gonna dip it and then I'm gonna take off half and I'm just gonna tap, tap, tap and spread this out to make it have not veins, but maybe a little bit of a pattern on here. I'm just gonna go ahead and add more alcohol and tap it out until it kind of goes the way I want. You can add sort of veins to it. It's not gonna give you veins the way a solid color alcohol ink would give you veins, but it will give you some definition and a little bit deeper color in areas. So once you have it all tapped out in the way you want and it's dried, we're gonna add a really thin layer of metallic glaze. That's to make sure that because we use so much of the glazed donut alcohol ink, we want the top coat to stick to it. So put a thin layer of metallic glaze on and cure. And once that is cured, then we can go ahead and add our Ladybug Luster Wet Look Top Gel. And that'll be it. That's the last of the nails. That's a set of actually six nails. I usually try to do five, but I ended up doing six because I wanted to show you both ways to do the marble. And we took large nail art and shrunk it down to small, short nails. As always, we would love to see your work. So please tag us if you do these and message us if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and see you next month.